Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Venus Academy. Myself Nathan and you are watching another video from Venus Academy. So guys, right now, like in the automobile sector, there are a lot of electric vehicles, a lot of hybrid vehicles guys introduced in market every day. So guys, over here, in this particular video, I am going to explain about the how an all electric vehicle is work. That is uh, commercially referred as the EV, that is nothing but the electric vehicle. So over here, in case of the EV, the combustion engine, internal combustion engine is replaced, it is completely replaced by a traction battery pack and an auxiliary battery pack basically. So over here there is no pollution, there is no exhaust tailpipe which is used in electric vehicle. The US government declares that this particular uh, electric vehicle or as all electric vehicle is nothing but the zero emission vehicles. So guys over here in this particular video we are going to learn about the all electric vehicles and how do they work. So please watch my video till then and guys if you are new to my education channel Engineers Academy please do subscribe that really motivates me to make more of such education videos. Thank you so much guys. Please continue watching. So there is an, a new EV gets introduced into the market in the automotive sector basically. So how this EVs work, how this electric vehicles work. So basically over here in case of electric vehicles, okay, the Combustion engine is replaced by the large traction battery pack. Now, when I'm talking about the battery pack, over here the uh, series of the alkaline batteries, these are the small batteries which are connected into the sets, okay, such as in the Tesla's Model 3. So, over here at the bottom side of that particular uh, car, there is a battery pack that is nothing but the traction battery pack which is nothing but the major source of the electricity which produces the electricity and transfer it to the motor that is the traction motor. Now this traction motor is connected to the gearbox and then to the rear wheels. So this particular traction motor provides a torque and pro this drives the wheels basically. So this particular this is nothing but the working principle that is the simple working principle that is the uh, my uh, traction battery pack it gets connected to the like the, the uh, wheels by the means of the gearbox so that is nothing but the simple working principle of this particular EV cars basically EV cars works on a large heavy traction battery pack basically so this particular battery pack produces the high voltage and now that particular high voltage gets converted into low voltage electric current by the means of the DC to DC uh, by the means of DC converter so basically this DC converter converts the high voltage from the traction battery to the low voltage that low voltage electricity that low voltage current is used to recharge the auxiliary battery which is nothing but the secondary battery and that particular auxiliary battery is used to charge that used that particular auxiliary battery is used to provide the electricity to the necessary auxiliary connections such as the tail lamps, head lamps, the all the other the electric components of the vehicle. So guys basically over here the major components are my traction battery pack, my traction motor, the motor gearbox, the DC to DC, DC converter and the auxiliary battery. The auxiliary battery is also another important uh, component of this particular electric vehicle. Now let's talk about the charging of this particular uh, traction battery pack. So basically this traction battery pack, you know, uh, which needs to charge from the external power supply via a charging port basically. So this particular charging port gets, uh, this particular charging port gets the external electricity and then this particular charging port is having the provision that converts the AC power supply into the high voltage DC power supply. And this particular controller is also having some sort of sensors. Now these sensors monitors the level of the battery. This also monitors the temperature of the battery pack. Also monitors the condition of the charge basically. So this particular controller gets connected to the charging port. And this particular controller also gets connected to the uh, traction battery pack. So this is how uh, this particular electric vehicle gets charged from the external power supply. So guys, so far we have seen the major components of this particular all electric vehicle that is nothing but the traction battery pack, auxiliary battery pack. This traction battery pack is connected to the my traction motor, okay, by the means of some sort of the gearbox. And then another like uh, the charging port, this charging port is connected to the AC to DC controller and now and then it is further connected to the traction battery. The charge from the traction battery is 
again it is like it is used by the means of uh, by the uh, the charge from the electric battery gets like uh, uh, it is connected to the like dc to con dc converter that uses the that converts the high voltage electric charge the high voltage electric current to the low voltage electric current and then that particular low voltage electric current then transfers to the auxiliary battery uh, auxiliary batteries and other electric components of the vehicle so basically over here one important parameter is that this uh, my uh, traction motor basically the traction motor can be of the you know the simple model or it can be of the regenerative type of the motor it means while uh, while traveling or as while in a working condition this particular traction motor charges the auxiliary battery so this is nothing but the regenerative type of the uh, motor basically so this can be implies and it varies from model to model so guys this particular uh, electric vehicles are commercially available in two ranges such as the heavy duty and the light duty depends upon the application so now if we talk about the driving range of the electric vehicle the latest model of the Kona electric that is the subsidiary of the Hyundai so that is launched that is India's first SUV car which claims to have the 452 kilometers of the driving range on a single charge and that particular driving range is certified by the ARAI that is nothing but the Automotive Research Association of the India that is ARAI certifies that particular range of the Gona electric model that is the first SUV car which launched in India so that ARAI certifies the range that is of 452 kilometers so now this particular driving range is totally dependent upon the you know the different modes which are there in this electric vehicle such as the drive mode, comfort mode, eco mode, sports mode so these are the you know different modes which are like uh, like which are which are there in the electric vehicle and upon which the total driving range is based on so basically this driving range is purely depends upon this particular different modes of the electric vehicle also this particular driving range is different for the different models Tesla's model 3 claims to have a driving range of 500 km so that you know that purely depends upon them from model to model that purely depends upon the different working conditions also guys this particular electric vehicle this, this cannot work like in a uh, severe environmental conditions such as in a cold weather okay this cold weather the IC engines also having some sort of problems but over here in the this particular cold weather the electric vehicles is will also having some sort of problems so you know the other environmental factors that also affects this particular electric vehicles but this electric vehicles are the zero emission vehicles and uh, this is like this triggers the production of this electric vehicles so guys over here in this particular video we have seen this all electric vehicle its component and its principle basically so guys i hope you like my video if you have any doubts and queries please do comment and guys please do subscribe to my educational channel which does that thank you so much guys for watching this video